So in this video I thought I'd do a little experiment and see if I could turn this into this. These logs were cut from a poplar tree about two months earlier and were roughly 16 to 18 inches in diameter and around two feet long. So that the logs were a little more manageable, we used a wedge and sledgehammer and split them into quarters. After sealing the ends of the pieces that were worth keeping with some latex paint, I decided to build a small sled from some scrap MDF and a spare miter bar. I started by marking the location of the bar from the edge of the MDF and then marked the location for the three screw holes. After drilling a few countersunk holes in the MDF, I then attached it with some one inch screws. And to keep the logs from sliding around on the sled, I cut a piece of drawer liner and used a little spray adhesive to keep it in place. To make the first cut on each log, I used shims to prevent the log from rocking. Then I simply eyeballed what needed to be taken off to leave a flat face and made the cut. For all these cuts, I used a 3 quarter inch 2 to 3 TPI Timberwolf blade, which did a pretty good job. The second cut was much easier since the bottom face was now flat, though I did learn quickly how important it is to check each log with a metal detector. I got in a hurry on the third log and hit a nail, so I'll do a short video that describes how I sharpened the blade. I decided to mill most boards around 1 inch thick, so after making the first two cuts, I removed the sled and set up the fence on the bandsaw. Reduced mostly quarter sawn boards, I rotated the log after each cut so that the face that was previously facing down was now against the fence. And after several more cuts, I had a nice pile going. Once I finished, I stickered the boards in the attic to dry. Here I left them unstacked for this shot just to show how many boards four whole logs produced. After six to seven months of drying, the boards were ready to be surfaced and used for drawers, boxes, and several other small projects. To do that, I just ripped the outer edge off at the table saw and then ran them through my joiner and planer. So other than cutting into an old nail, the experiment turned out pretty well. Next time I might try to remove some of the bark first and make a sled to accommodate logs that have only been split in half. This would save some of the wear on the blade and waste less material. Thanks for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below.